first things first, get this handlebar situation figured out. Gotta get the stem switched out. Luckily, Joe brought something for me. Uh, this, this is not this is not the uh, preferred way. This is just what I happen to have in the car. <laughs> Please don't come at me. Like I said, these, these are very much not what you should use, but... But it works. It, it'll, it, I would not use them daily. <laughs> so there's still a little bit of crud in there. See oh, the dirt yeah. coming up. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this uh, WPL fork boost. What this is gonna do is help lubricate the seals a little bit. We just get it down in there and see all that crap that it's bringing out. Oh my goodness, that's bad. Yeah, that's the stuff that's making it down in your seals. It's just, uh, it's just an inexpensive fork. <laughs> Those are the compromises you make with cost. That was all the, the crap that was kind of in your in your seals there. Oh my goodness. So yeah, wouldn't hurt to replace the seals. It's been a it's been a year. Okay. All of them provided by P and W. Thanks, Aaron. Um, let's see. Ooh, get a little P and W action today. Yeah. I've always wanted to try them out. These are actually a few different models because this was the first version, and these are the latest version, I believe. Okay. So if we wanted to, that's kind of sick. We want it to match your current stem length. I think that this this is the one we want to do. Okay. That's about that's about your current stem length. Maybe a little bit longer, but I'm down. Yeah, we'll try it, and then we can always go to a little bit shorter. This is not good, dude. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's stripped. Oof. So remember, kids, torque wrenches are your friend. Oh yeah. I think you cross threaded it. <laughs> that stem is toast. Come take a look. See how it's all smooth in there, where the thread should be? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, those look a little cross-threaded. That is why I brought stems for days. You ever changed a stem before? Nope. All right, so there's a few things to know. With most modern bikes, you don't really have to worry about the steer tube diameter, and that's what this is. The steer tube is what comes out of the fork that allows you to actually steer. The biggest thing that you want to make sure is that you have the right diameter for your bar. Thankfully, I already know what size that Maddie uses. So we're gonna plop this guy down on. There we go. Ooh, it looks sick already. You know what this is, right? What? This is technically the first ever upgraded part on the polygon. There you go. Oh, I actually put it on upside down. So the stem cap puts preload on the bearings here. So you don't want to crank it down too tight, otherwise you're gonna crush your bearings and you might damage them. Mm -hmm. uh, so you just want it a little bit tight enough. We'll double check that in a second. But the next thing we're gonna do PNW action is install the handlebar on here. So that's what the screw is supposed to look like, huh? Yep. This particular one, you might notice that there's no gap written right there, mm -hmm. right? On some stems, what you want to do is when you put it on, it'll clamp onto the handlebar and you want the gap to be even from top to bottom. Okay. With this one, it was designed to have no gap at the top and the gap is at the bottom. When we go to put the handlebar on, we'll tighten up those screws first and then torque everything down. I just want to make sure it's lined up left to right because we have this handy dandy chart here. So I just want to make sure we're slightly even. Just get these in place with the fingers. Okay, so you can't see it from here unless you look down, but there's a torque rating on here five to six newton meters. Right there, that's for these bolts. So, I'm gonna set my torque wrench to right between, we'll split the difference, say five and a half newton meters. How far forward do you want your bars rolled? So slide out a little bit so you have a little bit more room. How does that feel? Oh, I like that. You like it? Mm -hmm. Like how it feels, handlebar feels good. Controls feel good. You can adjust the, uh, the brakes independently of the handlebar. Yeah, right here. Right there? Okay. Yeah. So, I'll lock it in. My handlebars are crooked though. Oh, yeah, we'll fix that in a second. Oh, okay. Don't worry oh, so about this that. is different. Yep. Oh, okay. Is that the torque wrench? Yep. <laughs> and it just clicks in when you are at the correct torque setting. So, that is how you prevent from stripping out your bolts. This is that torque wrench all you guys were talking about. Here it is in the flesh. It's one of the many torque wrench options on the market. So, mm -hmm. I had already kind of finger tightened it right uh, using my multi-tool and the quickest way to make sure that it's uh, tight enough mm -hmm. is to 
just grab the front brake. Front brake. Okay, put your hand right here. Like right here? Yep. Feel that wiggling? Mm hmm. That's too loose. Oh my goodness. We have play in the, in the uh, headset there, so we want to just tweak it down a little bit more. But I still feel something clicking. A lot of times, the brake pads will have a little bit of play. Mm -hmm. So to double check it, you move your wheel sideways and then you rock it back and forth this way. That way, your brake pads aren't moving back and forth. And if you feel any play, because it's coming from the headset. But now, it feels nice and solid. Okay. We don't have any play. And we lift up the front tire. It feels nice and smooth. You don't want to feel any indexing or crunchiness. Mm -hmm. So, that's nice and smooth. Now we just make sure that our handlebar is straight, grabbing it between the legs like this, and then just kind of pulling back. And naturally, my arms are roughly the same length, so it'll get me in the ballpark. And then I just kind of look down the handlebar and look at two reference points here on the center of each of these caps. And I just make sure that it is pretty straight and they line up. When I'm happy, I start tightening this down. <laughs> just a little bit on each side you don't want to torque down one because then you're going to strip out the bolts so you want to distribute the load evenly between the two okay so that one clicked we go back we tighten this one that one's clicked we come again make sure that this one clicks once more for luck there you go oh and it looked just like that got a new stem on there huh Not just like that <laughs>